Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is uh, Amjad. I go by AJ uh, Khan. And uh, I'm un unfortunately, I live in Los Angeles. I don't live in Orange County. So I make a, I have the record for making the longest commute to BTN. Let me ask for those people who are new, like Zach and all, how many have been members of BTN for less than two years? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Wow. That's, That's the majority of people. Okay. How many have been members for five years or more? Five years or more? more. Five more. years or more. more. Five years or more. Wow. Right. Okay. How many have been members for more than eight years? Okay. I've been members for five years right now. I think I'm approaching my fifth anniversary. When I started out, we were in Irvine and then we moved to Laguna Miguel right? Mm -hmm. Mission Viejo area. And, um, and then we had a second chapter in Newport. But there has been so much changes in the industry. And there has been fundamental changes in this industry that we've all been faced with. So that has led to my making a decision that as I, as I learn about the industry and I work through the industry, that in last December, I purchased, I had the opportunity to purchase a CRDN territory. So I want to explain to you what the CRDN is. But I purchased CRDN as part of that changes to make my business better. Now, CRDN um, franchise was not available in the area I chose to work, which is in Orange County. So I ended up having to take the only territory that was available that covers from Santa Monica to Long Beach. Wow. So, viva commuting! <laughs> <laughs> So what I want to, uh, one of the things that, that happens is as we're working through our businesses, I've been taking a lot of coaching. I've been, I've been with multiple coaches throughout my business life and I found them helpful because part of my role is I was a business, I'm a business process expert. That's how I got in this industry. I got in this industry because I wrote software for this industry. I did not come in as a contractor. I came in through the back door or the side door or the top door or whatever. I came in through some other door, but mostly through an app door. So I wrote software for the insurance companies in 2014. And what I've noticed is while I was writing software for, I'm still writing software for different companies. I'm writing software for a flooring company who used to be a vendor for Sharon and Sons, Provenza Floors. Oh, yeah. yeah, they're gonna be $200 million. When I met them, they were $5 million and they were running a discount hardware store right here in the corner. So this is what I do. I help really? companies grow to become incredibly successful. I'm not the reason why they're successful, but without me, they wouldn't be successful either because we provide the software, the technology to help them scale up. Um, so that's what I do. Now, what I wanted to, what I wanted to let you know is that in this, I lost my thought. So I'm going to switch to a different topic right now. Um, this thing with CRDN, this is, a, this is an incredible opportunity for us. And, and many of you are probably considering what you need to do for your own business. So with all the changes that is, that is happening in our industry, I decided to go with, with the CRDN. And what CRDN is doing for me is, in our business, when we first started, we realized the, the revenue source our customers, the people who pay bills, are the insurance companies, right? So I don't know who your customers are that actually pay your bills. I'm not talking about somebody who, a homeowner who walks in once in a while to buy flooring. I'm talking about how do you get a pipeline of money? Now what CRDN does for us is it basically gives us access to a steady source of revenue because CRDN's customers have contracts and they're insurance companies. So our primary clients are insurance companies. So we don't have to wait for individual jobs. We get those jobs through the insurance company. So this is a kind of evolution that we're working on. The other thing that I'm working on is, since I bought CRDN in December, I've been looking for a coach and, uh, and currently I'm working with the coach and this is the kind of stuff that I'm working on. It's a, it's a very detailed plan. It tells me minute by minute how to run the business, what is effective and what is not effective because a lot of us have wasted a ton of money 
in, and, and the biggest thing is ideas are dime a dozen, but execution is golden. Literally, if you can execute one idea that is well thought out, that is well planned out, you can hit your any of your goals, correct? So this is this is what I'm so this is what I'm currently working on. I'm working on becoming like Steve has decided chose to do, to be the most organized, to be to do a rapid execution of the best ideas and to recognize which road not to take. Right? So test for results, test for all of that. And so this is what I'm doing. And uh, part of that is I looked up what would be beneficial to, to us, to the rest of us. You know, with all these AI technology, with all the internet stuff, there's a lot of great ideas on what we can do as contractors <coughs> to build our business. So I have something here for you guys. If you want to do a one-to-one, -one, I'll be happy to discuss that. Okay, with that, I will take some questions about CRDN or anything else you want to talk to me about. So CRDN is a franchise that has what, like master contracts with the major insurance companies in California, for instance, because there's only a few that have homeowner plans now, right? So is that what they do? They have a big master contract with them? Yeah, so CRDN has master contracts with all the insurance companies. Okay. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of insurance companies, so I shouldn't say all, but majority of the insurance, like the Allstate, the farmers, the state farms. Um, they also have contracts with USAA, AAA, all of those. Um, yeah. yeah, and and what they what they handle is both commercial as well as residential, and they primarily are an emergency a response system. So when there's a wildfire, when there's uh, when there's a leak in the home anything that is insurance related. So if the, if the claim can be resolved by you just contacting your plumber and using a mop, CRDN doesn't get involved. But if you decide to escalate the thing and say, hey, you know what, I have a, I have a, I'm paying $1,500 or $1,000 or $2,000 for my premium. Um, uh, you know, my, my deductible is $2,000 and I'm paying insurance for a couple of thousand dollars. I like to file a claim. I've been paying for years. When you do that, there are two groups of people that get involved. There's a contractor that actually rebuilds the place, but CRDN is the is one of two groups of national companies that are invited in to handle. So we handle textiles, we handle artwork, we handle pretty much everything. We handle um, all the major hardwoods like furniture, stuff like that. We also handle collectibles. Uh, we handle things like documents. So we restore all of it and we work with the insurance company. So there is a, you guys haven't visited my office, but ever, ever since I bought CRD and I've been going through an extensive training. So we, for, just for electronics alone, we literally have to, have to build a room for electronics on how to test for different electronics, how to make sure to restore it, how to clean it. Um, or in many cases, we actually prepare the loss reports. The insurance company will give you a reasonable payment for your property. So if your property is not going to be recovered, or restored, we can make the determination and we provide that service also. So this is an evolution of, we started out with doing just one aspect of the uh, business. We were doing storage for furniture. Now we're doing everything. So we're doing the entire property. As a so, franchisee, are they limited to how many they can set up in a particular area? Right, it's by territory. By any, yeah. so. We unfortunately are not the franchise for Orange County, right. um, but we are very close. We're working with them as a partnership. The, the Orange County franchise is very successful, very large. They have, as part of their business, they have 18 dry cleaners and they, are, they operate on the name of Kona dry cleaners. So you, can, you know, whenever you know, you'll notice Kona wow, dry yeah. cleaners. Yeah. So you know that's part of our network. Wow. So we work collaboratively with each other uh, we happen to be located in Anaheim, but we serve the territory from Long Beach all the way to Santa Monica. I love serving Long Beach area. That's a great, it's a great market. Yeah. So, so I should be able to refer everybody a lot more business uh, after I complete all the training work. It's a six month process. Are you the only franchisee though in that area? Or? We are, we have exclusive territory from Long Beach to Santa Monica. Nice. That's, that's fantastic. That's yeah. unheard of. Man. So we've that's pretty much got the market. beach. I have to be very careful with my accent not to say beach too fast. Sometimes it sounds like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so, yeah. so, Amjad, what helped you decide um, to go with CRDN as a po versus another? Yeah, I think I think you you know as you with all these things that are happening and you watch your business and you go through a cycles. We, we're all going through cycles where you know we're we're making a lot of money. Looks like you know we're just floating, and then next thing we know, we can't even meet payroll, right? So this <laughs> cyclical business that we're in. So I started to look for how to stabilize the business for my employees. I didn't want to lose my employees. And that's what CRDN offers. So I looked at all the different ones. I looked at um, uh, a lot of franchises, but most of the franchises just simply take your money. They're not there to give you jobs. CRDN is very unique. Um, in fact, uh, when, I, when I first started looking at it, I talked to Elan. Elan, uh, he's, been on the, he's worked for an insurance company. He was a... He was an attorney for a major insurance company nationwide. And so Elan has, has hired uh, CRDN. His company has hired CRDN. So CRDN is, guarantees us growth, scale. We just have to do our job. It's kind of like owning the McDonald's. As long as you don't poison anybody and you don't burn them, <laughs> yes. you know, you, you perform a crazy, this thing is going to continue to grow. So I'm very happy about that. So. prior to Exactly. Okay. So we were we were providing one of the services. I have this postcard. If you want to pass it on, then explain briefly what we are doing. Yeah. 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 So basically, we were just doing one of the one of the service, which is furniture. We were handling furniture. We were um, cleaning. We were not doing anything with electronics. We were not doing anything with fabrics or textile. Uh, we were not doing anything with artwork. We were not doing anything with photographs. So now we do everything. And, and part of it is that uh, CRDN expects you to go through a lot of training. I've been to Detroit, that's our headquarters. Uh, I spent two weeks in Detroit going through training with a couple of my team members. And then, um, that, and then we actually have to set up uh, a cleaning and testing area for each of these services. So when you come next time, if you have ever happen to come by and take me up on the lunch, the very, very spicy, hard to take lunch um, if you take me up on that challenge, I will show you that I have the cleaning equipment we have. We use uh, sound waves to clean. So it's a very, very uh, uh, eco. I took them up on it and it's worth it. Yeah. Definitely, definitely do it. Yeah. But, but as you can see, there's, there's six categories and we were only doing one. So we were in the industry, but we would get beat out. Insurance company would send CRDN. We would be at the client, we, the client would sign an agreement with us, and next thing we know, the insurance companies convince the client, you know what, you're better off going with a, with a team that's gonna handle everything, you're only handling one thing. So we were constantly uh, getting beat up. So, so no, I'm not joining the team. Um, is your, is it, it looks like it's still primarily dealing with the contents. You're not in as the general contractor putting the house back, is that correct? Right, so the, the um, currently I'm doing both. Um, what I had to do was when I negotiated with CRDN, I had, in the process of, of becoming a CRDN, I had become a full-fledged contractor. So I partnered up with a, with a contractor and we were doing the dry, uh, cleaning the house, we were remodeling the house. Not really, we're not going there to remodel the house, it's all based on insurance claims. So we, if we tear out the floor, we put the floor back. If we take out the drywall, we put the drywall back. So we were doing all of it. So CRDN had to do a carve out on the franchise agreement, which Elon helped with, to make sure that we are allowed to continue our existing business and add on CRDN. So we were unique in that. So now we offer everything. Yeah. But uh, CRDN itself is, 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 is basically the, the, the things that can be removed from a house. So the way they describe it is you take a home or a property and if you turn it upside down and all the things that fall out, that's considered CRDN's area. Yeah. Uh, kind of, I guess, a, a testimonial. I mean, I, I've worked with AJ with both of his companies. He's helped out several of my clients um, with re restoration work as to the home itself. Um, and they've done an amazing job. But as to CRDN, AJ and I haven't worked on any homes together with CRDN. I did help him with the 
contracts on this, but um, like AJ said, I, I've worked with CRDN a lot in the past when I used to do insurance defense work. And number one, I mean, you can find a ton of contractor experts. Again, I did insurance defense litigation, so we had to hire experts in the construction field all the time. And finding, you know, general experts are easy, a roofing expert, you know, flooring expert, that's not hard. But I remember we had several cases that dealt with textiles, like these really expensive homes that had a lot of, you know, really high-end clothing and they were already damaged by fire or water. And we had to find an expert because obviously the homeowner was saying each piece is worth $5 million and we want $50 million. Well, we had to hire an expert to come in and evaluate, okay, what's it really going to cost to clean, you know, these textiles? Or can they be clean? Maybe they, they are destroyed. So, you know, we had to do some research. We found CRDN. Um, who are experts in this type of stuff. And it was really easy for us to get approval for that with the adjuster, our client was nationwide. And it's not always easy because they want that big name, they want somebody who's specialized. And when they heard CRDN, they're like, oh yeah, hire them right away, and we did. And they've always did great work for us. So um, so yeah, just a little testimony about how they do and, and working with AJ, so it's wonderful. Yeah, so that's, that's, a, that's a seventh service besides these six, which is the, um, that there is a there is a specialized service where you assess the property so you know if your if your home has some artwork but you don't have receipts or anything to prove it we could bring in experts uh through our national network and and put a fair value on it that would that would uh that would get you the money from the insurance on your insurance claim so there's a there's a whole element to that which is a which is specialized service also that's the idea so there's a ton of stuff and they're growing and they're expanding um it was it was incredibly um we were not just lucky but they also felt that we were a great fit so they came in and they saw that here we are struggling with one aspect of the service but we were consistently getting five stars so we have handwritten reviews we had not progressed to digital reviews, even though, you know, software guys, but we had not progressed to digital review. So we have handwritten reviews from, um, from every job where the client has taken the time to write it down, to talk about how great, uh, how patient our crew was, <coughs> how professional we were, um, and all of it. And CRDN came and they reviewed all that and they just loved it. So, so now we're gonna be doing a, a lot more services. It's, it's gonna take a few more, a few more weeks but we're almost there in terms of training and setup. Can so. I imagine now you arrive on site and they love the fact that you're there as opposed to you're there to help and you're trying to get their business. Right. Now you don't have to worry about that by the time fact you're just there to help. Yeah. So how do you get, um, so a friend of mine has smoke damage from a fire on her purse and she's still, I mean, everything's done. It's, it was a long time ago, yeah. but her purse still, when she walks around, her guests will say, what is that smell? And they can actually smell smoke on her purse still. Right. Is there a way to correct that? Or is that just damaged and it's gone? No, there's those are, we, we corrected. We use a, we use a, a, a machine that actually locks onto the molecule on the, 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 you know, so it locks onto this, the particular um, malodor molecule. So, I mean, you're talking about the purse. You could even, there have been people who bought a, a restaurant from like, let's say it was a Thai restaurant and they bought a restaurant and they want to run a something else, but they don't want the smell of the Thai food all over the place because, you know, it gets, <laughs> I'm not from Thailand, so I can say that, right? <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> So you can just you can process so, that. So yeah, so so there's there's a specialized equipment. Basically, we uh, one of the things that we use is we use oxygen molecules. So we enclose the space, put this machine in that is an oxygen generator. It it sends out oxygen molecules that will attach itself. So even when you when you come to our office, I would like to show you the cleaning system that we have. It it uses sound wave, but how does sound clean anything? I mean, well we use we take solvents and we put the sound wave through it and it creates bubbles and those bubbles attach itself to dirt so it's called an ultrasonic now it's the same thing that dentists use to clean their dental instrument but we have a massive industrial version of it to clean uh, properties from a house so when we put something in that tank and we run that sound wave machine 
that's what it's doing. It the water changes and completely gets black. Yeah, I got a quick question. Yes. So if Aaron talked to his friend who has this purse and yes. brought it over to your location, how long would it take for you to run this thing through the thing and give it back so he can help his friend out? Right. So since we have industrial level process, it would probably take less than less than a minute, a few minutes, seconds to do it. That's incredible. Yeah. So there's a lot of technology yeah. out there, you know, that's for so cleaning. It, it's kind of the same thing if there's been a smoker in the house. They, yeah. So you yeah. So we bring in, we seal the seal the openings, you know, seal the windows and doors with plastic, with zippers, ziplocs. We we completely uh, uh, seal it, and then we put these machines in based on this uh, volume, the cubic foot of the area. We put in the machine within a few minutes. The machine, um, because it's it's using a very molecular approach, it's very efficient, and there's no lasting smell, because we're not spraying anything, we're not putting disinfectants everywhere, uh, we're not wiping things down so things don't get embedded in it. So that can be like a side business, just like purses and the same yeah. Thing. So like after a sewage spill or something, you know, I mean that mm -hmm. that is something that uh, that yeah. we we have to do in a house. Uh, there's a plumbing disaster and and. Yeah. And there's a sewage spill, and now the house stinks. Um, we can get rid of it pretty easily. Are, so. are you only allowed to do like through the insurance, or can you do side stuff? No, we like... can do we can do whatever. It's it's just that it's the, kind of the eighty twenty. Um, we have relationship with insurance companies, so we prefer insurance claims. Mm. Uh, primarily, the homeowners then don't have to worry about anything because yeah. it's assessed by the insurance adjusters. Yeah. And so they have somebody else paying for it, somebody else verifying that the work was done correctly and professionally. But do you prefer not to do like sides? Are yeah. Are allowed through your friend? We, we, no, we are allowed to do whatever, yeah. I mean, but you don't like really doing this. We don't like doing it because, uh, yeah, then you get into this whole thing about it. Go ahead, Pete. So if somebody in this group uh -huh. had something like that that they wanted to have you do that has nothing to do with CRDN, can right. they call you directly and you have your people take care of this and it's outside of CRDN, but it happens to be in Orange County? Well, legally we're not going to do it outside CRDN, but we will take care of it. So CRDN is not locked into insurance. They just happen to primary source of jobs are from insurance. CRDN, we can do all the jobs, every kind of job. You could do a job in Orange County then, if we, we direct referral. Absolutely. Oh. The only thing I cannot do is I cannot go out and um, advertise um, yeah. in Orange County. Got it. But uh, you know I'm and you working. And won't get any referrals from insurance companies for, for outside your market area. Exactly. Either. Right. Yeah. But you guys can refer him, and that's perfectly right. right. By the way, insurance companies can. What insurance companies do is, um, it's just like contractors. Once you hire a sub and you and you trust the sub, you're not going to waste time looking for another one. So the adjusters who have worked with us in the past. Can, will recall us. It doesn't matter if the, if the job is in Inland Empire, where there's another CRDN, or Ventura, <coughs> or LA, or Orange County. So how much would a purse cost? <laughs> uh, something like a purse? Yeah. Clean the purse. Yeah. A, 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 process, a, a ultrasound wave <laughs> oxygen generator cleaning. They, I think the way insurance companies work is they give you 20 cents for it. So you would probably pay like a quarter for just one purse. I think he's asking no. a more specific yeah, If I were to bring you the purse to your shop, right. deliver it, right. how much would it cost for you to well, service I mean, it? Well, I mean, so I would I would overcharge you maybe a dollar. A dollar? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm saying, you know, like, this is this is how insurance works. They, they literally have a price list for everything. So it's all, we literally have to have a certain amount of volume in order to get to the, to the minimum level of uh, charges. So it's, it's not, it's very nickel and dime with insurance. So one purse though would be more, much more than that, because there's only one. If there's no volume, so yeah. We, we, house we, when he goes to my yeah. house. One so day. He's asking this, can you I'll give you ten favor? bucks. Can you help me do a favor for my friend? That's right. We can do. I that. think it depends on how much is in that purse. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Yeah, exactly. What's how much okay. contents in the purse? So that's okay. That's hilarious. He's going to ring the bell. <laughs>